Stories that have proved your faithfulness, and I've seen miracles my mind can't comprehend. And there is beauty in what I can understand. Jesus, it's you. Jesus, it's you. I believe you're the wonder.
He's too good to not believe right now. God has been waiting for this song to be declared by the church to see Jesus get his full reward in every place in your body, your family, wherever it is. There's miracles being released in the room, in the great room, online, in your room. It doesn't matter where you're at. There's miracles being released in the declaration of God's goodness. If you need a miracle in your body right now, I just want you to lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. He's already been healing people as we speak, as we've worshiped. He's been healing people. You don't have to have people laying hands on you, but pastors, get out there and pray for people. Begin to declare perfect health and healing. I feel the righteousness of God in the room. The righteousness that Jesus purchased on the cross, the blood of Jesus is making your body right. I feel like this is born again again Sunday. Let's get born again. Let's actually believe what God has declared over us. Let's be the believing church. We're going to sing this and just keep declaring this. And I want you to receive it. Prodigals are coming home. Cancer is being healed. Bone cancer. Carcinomas. Metastasized cancer. You die now in the name of Jesus. Deliverance in Jesus' name. Those who lost their mind, your mind comes back to you now. Demons leave in Jesus' name. Let's sing. Let's declare it, church. Let's declare it. Resurrection life. 
Wake up in Jesus' name. Wake up in Jesus' name. Complete freedom where you've never had freedom before. That young man specifically who's, who's in his room, been tormented by addiction for so long. It's almost like it's a demo, it is a demonic spirit, but you feel it as a dim, demonic spirit. We command that spirit to leave you and never return right now in Jesus' name. Full deliverance. Don't tell me God can't do it. You're the impossible case. You're the one who says, if God knew everything I've done in my life, God couldn't save me. Right now, you are the one. God has turned all of heaven towards you. You're forgiven. You're forgiven in Jesus' name. You're forgiven in Jesus' name. This is it. This is the authority that Jesus has been waiting for the church to actually step into, to enforce what he paid for. We're his body. It's time. It's time, church. Lord, I rededicate my life to you. Today is a, a day of rededication. God, I didn't know there was another level. I knew there was something, because I'm hungry, but I need, I need a new burning. I needed to burn again. I needed to stir up again, God. I rededicate my life. I want to live like you lived on this earth. Greater things shall you do. God, we're going to step into that. We give you our whole life. We recommit ourselves again. Spirit of God, come and fill us anew. Come and fill us afresh. We want to live in the power that you possessed at the cross and the authority that you took back and you gave to us. We want to fully live in it. Those who want to fully live in that, why don't you just declare a big amen? amen. Do it again. Oh, give God praise. He is so worthy. Woo. Thank you. Thank you, worship team.